Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to my first video. So, my name is Cole, and this channel is going to be dedicated to the board game Root by Leader Games. Uh, and this is the digital adaptation of that game by Direwolf Digital uh, that you're seeing in front of you. It is an asymmetric war game. And in the base game, there are four distinct factions that all do various different things. And uh, rather than ramble on about it, I'm just going to jump into the basic tutorial here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Welcome to Root, a game of warfare and adventure where four unique factions struggle for control over the vast woodlands. In this scenario, we're going to play it as the ambitious Marquise de Cat. Long before they became the military and industrial powerhouse that they are today, the Marquise came to the forest with a small band of warriors and a few modest buildings. I hear the flapping of wings in the distance. Move quickly to establish your hold on the forest before your feathery foes the eerie arrive. Alright, so we have a goal of ruling five clearings. We're going to explain it in one second, but we're going to move a warrior to a neighboring clearing to expand our rule. So, this is actually pretty self explanatory. It is whichever faction has the most presence in a clearing between their warriors and buildings rules the clearing. So, each clearing, uh, speaking of clearings, has a suit that represents the community of creatures living there. So, here is a fox clearing, and we can see we also have mouse and rabbit clearings. And here's the rule flag. Uh, it's currently orange, showing that the Marquise rules this clearing. So when the Marquise uses the move action, they get to make two moves. So we're gonna go ahead and make another one. One of our cats in here. So we're gonna end our turn. And it's gonna jump right back into our turn. And we're gonna see here that our sawmill building generates one wood at the start of our turn, and we can use wood to build more buildings. Uh, some of those buildings can be sawmills, which then generate more wood, which allows us to build more buildings. So, but we are gonna build a recruiter now, and that's gonna allow us to recruit more warriors. And so, when we build, we get to choose among clearings we rule, right? So we can see the rule flag here on these three clearings. And uh, another thing to note is that the wood must travel to the clearing like a supply chain. So say I wanted to build in this clearing, and hypothetically I did rule it, and the wood is coming from this clearing, which I also rule. The, the wood needs to have a path to this clearing that I want to build in through clearings I rule. So since I rule this clearing, the wood can travel through. If I didn't, I would maybe have to rule this clearing, this clearing, this clearing, so I could go around a path in order to build in that clearing. So the Marquise is uh, sort of a, building a supply chain where they control the forest and uh, uh, in order to keep establishing more buildings and further uh, dig their claws, I suppose, into their control of the woodland. So now we can take a recruit action to place a warrior at each of the recruiters we've built. And now we're going to take a couple more moves. Move a cat into this central clearing here. Move a cat into this central clearing here. And now we rule five clearings, like the goal said we should. Alright, here's an eerie warrior. So the eerie are another one of the factions. And uh, as the Marquis says, they aren't friendly to outsiders, so they are probably going to come fight us. Uh, we get three actions in our turn as the Marquise, but it's just going to go ahead and give us another turn so we can continue learning the basic mechanics of this game. So it's now giving us the option of choosing what action we want to do next. Let's try building. If we want to build in this clearing. We can't build a recruiter because it costs two wood, and as we can see here, we only have one wood available to build with. So let's actually go ahead and build a sawmill in this clearing. It's pretty far away from where that eerie warrior spawned in. So there's a little to no chance he'll be able to get to it. Uh, even if he does go this way and then down, he will 
still have to fight through a warrior to get to it, so that that's a fine placement. And now we can recruit again. And then let's go ahead and move one of our warriors up there. Yeah, so our goal is to defeat all your warriors, but we can't use the battle action yet. So we're not going to do, obviously we're not going to do that. And we don't need to take the second move. We're just going to skip. I like the position we have here. We're going to generate our two sawmills. Oh, it still wants us to defeat all your warriors. Okay, so maybe once we get in there, it'll allow us to battle. Okay, let's, um, before we do that, take another, oh, I guess we can do the battling first. Let's go ahead and move. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do recruit, and then that way we can move this cat up here, and then cat up here, and now it's going to let us battle, okay. Our warriors will surely triumph, and so we're going to select battle on birds. So in battle, two dice are rolled, and the dice have sides from 0 to 3, and the attacker will take the higher die because they have the advantage, and the defender will take the lower, and each player can deal no more hits than the number of warriors they have in the clearing of battle. So currently, I can only deal one hit, and the Eerie can only deal one hit because we both only have one warrior in this clearing. So let's go ahead and roll the dice, we get a 2-0. So the Eerie don't deal any hits, but I deal only one because I have rolled a two, but I only have one warrior. Alright, so the Eerie have built a roost that can recruit more of their warriors. So let's go ahead and try and destroy that after they take their turn. We're going to recruit another warrior, and that warrior is going to run in here and initiate another battle. So now that the Eerie are the attackers, they're going to get the higher die. Uh, but it doesn't matter because they rolled a 2-2, which means both warriors are removed. Alright, and it's going to pass it right back to us. Generate some wood. Let's go ahead and build up here a recruiter. Now, we'll get more into the faction-specific um, details in the next video, which will cover the Marquise de Cat, but what we just did, our third recruiter here gave us a second card draw, so now we'll draw two cards at the end of our turn instead of one. So, let's go ahead and take a move. off the board. Now this roost is defenseless since there's no warriors in its clearing. And when a clearing is defenseless, you get an extra hit added on, and that hit is not capped by the amount of warriors you have. So even though I only had one warrior, I was still able to deal two hits. So if there had been a second building in that clearing, um, I would have been able to destroy both of them with the one warrior. Alright, and that is the end of the basic tutorial um, covering the very very basics of Root, um, just moving, battling, the phases of your turn, and if all of that was interesting to you, I will see you in the next video where we will learn how to play as the Marquise de Cat.